What's up, everybody? This is Caden coming at you with another episode of Caden's Podcast. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. We uh, This isn't a normal episode of Caden's Podcast. This is actually going to be a little game show kind of thing we did I did with some of my friends. Uh, you remember Hayden Linkson from another episode, I think episode nine. He had an idea about doing this game show esque episode where uh, uh, me and him and a couple other friends sit around a table and we debate mundane things, <laughs> and uh, we make we make fun of a lot of things and of each other. And it was mostly for fun, but we enjoyed it and we recorded it and uh, I'm going to post it. However, we weren't entirely set up. I want to give a, a little a few disclaimers for this episode. We we were not set up. Ideally, we had one microphone instead of individual microphones and it was one of those area mics. So we sit on the middle of the table and we kind of all shouted into the mic. Yeah, shouting's not the right word, but. Uh, you can cut. It's supposed to be one that picks up everything in the room and is super, sen- super, super sensitive. So it worked well. You can hear what everybody's saying, and I'm gonna do my best to edit it, uh, edit the noise levels and and some of the reverb and the echo. But just so you know, this is gonna be. It's gonna be a little bit rough. Uh, it's it's just yeah. It's it's not set up the way that I think a professional podcast does or do how a podcaster do but it was fun and it was it was uh, a lot different so here's a little bit of of the rules and kind of what we did we did three different segments we did a would you rather we debated a would you rather uh we did we made a bracket of items and uh we this at this one uh, we do condiments and we we select like the most popular condiments put them in a bracket and we debate the best condiment and then in the last one we uh we make a we play a game where we do like a fantasy draft but we do we do a draft with well I'll let you listen to the episode um the uh it's kind of fun it, there's not a lot of structure to it it was just kind of we were sporadic and it was fun and loud and obnoxious. Uh, but that's what Caden's podcast is all about. So if you enjoy that, then you're really going to enjoy this. I did it with Hayden Langston, Austin Horsley, and Logan Day. And uh, Tanner Ellison was like our producer. He was the fact checker on the computer doing all the editing. He's a good guy. Uh, you get to hear a little bit of him too. Oh, and uh, we're trying to figure out how to do the volume i've had comments in the past about the episodes being too quiet so i don't really know what to do besides just turn turn it up (laughs) so uh, i'm gonna be working i'm gonna be messing with the sound a little bit so just be careful about the turning it up too high i don't know if it's gonna be too loud at some points i'm not a pro at this uh or uh, but i don't want it to be too quiet so i'm gonna just gonna try turning everything up um I think uh, I'm not sure if we're going to post, keep posting episodes. I don't know if we're going to keep doing episodes like this. And if we do, I don't know if we're going to post them here or if we're going to make a new page. So uh, if you like what you hear, then then um, let us know and share it. Share it with your friends and your family, if whoever is OK with the absurdity. We want to hear some of your feedback. We, I think we wanted to hear what you would vote for. Uh, I don't know how you want to respond though, so you can just message me or message anybody that's in the podcast. Or uh, if you don't fucking care, then then don't and just fucking enjoy this episode. segment tanner all right so we're gonna do some series of would you rather would you rather fight 100 
duck sized horses oh, or one look. horse sized duck. So a hundred little horses or one huge like stallion duck. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Let's I think obviously I would fight a hundred small horse, horse sized duck. No, du- duck, duck sized horses. Duck sized horses. Easy. Easy. Yeah. But I that's like a foot tall, right? How tall are ducks? How tall? Yeah, about a yeah, foot. foot. So how how heavy is this horse? Is one horse gonna weigh? Three okay. pounds. Well, I'm wondering. <laughs> I can destroy those motherfuckers. You're, you're just kicking them. <laughs> that's Easy. what I was thinking. That's are so... they are they attacking us though? What's wrong, Tanner? Uh, a oh. horse. The average light horse weighs about one thousand pounds or four hundred fifty kilograms. Heavy. So that's a one thousand pound duck you're fighting. Yeah. Yeah, that's not possible. With a quacker, dude. No way. A, no. a one thousand pound quacker coming for no, you. That what are you gonna do? Ducks, Throw your dukes. Ducks can bite when they're that small, anyways. Imagine a horse sized duck. Yeah. What Fuck that beak that would duck, do? Duck, no. Dude. No. Are they? No. Are they? No, duck sized horses for sure. Let me get this straight. If we're fighting them, are they? Are they attacking us, or are they just there and we just have to kill them? Because <laughs> that's a different story. If that's no, they're, 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 yeah. they're they're attacking. They're they're coming at you like yeah. a wave. You got to okay. def- yeah, a wave, a wave of little horses. <laughs> so you're like a, like an That'd arena. Be Here, but here's the thing you have to consider is how strong are your shins? Because those little horses are gonna be donkey we're, kicking. And they're the hell they're Can I bring a we- Can I have any weapons for either case? That's I think it's point. your body. I think it's just you. Yeah, it's just you. It's just your fists. No, you can there's just no stomp way. Those little just, horses. No, no, dude, they're just, the they're just coming up and they're kicking your shins, man. Of them? It's a hundred. Hundred horse-sized, duck-sized horses. Oh. Or one horse-sized duck. I, How heavy is the average duck, Tanner? <laughs> Look that up. Very sure. good fact check <laughs> question. But they're probably 10, 15 the, the pounds. Huge, the, huge duck? Duck, the huge duck would try and bite your face. No, no, it would. It would eat your whole body. They're like yeah. three pounds. Yeah, I just fucking roll those motherfuckers <laughs> over. Easy. I, I think this is easy. I three think this pounds. is an easy choice. Well, let's, here's what you could do: you you grab two horses by the neck, and then you've got weapons yeah, to destroy yeah. the rest of the. Yeah, you're just slinging the them horses. around. Easy. That is sure. dark that's as true. hell. That, that <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? Let the horses trample me? Jeez. They'll probably tickle. They're so light. <laughs> yeah, that would be three hundred pounds worth of little horses versus. A oh, one thousand. Oh, you got to go by weight. That's a good point. Yeah. No, I'm not fighting yeah, a but, thousand pounds. But you think, no, no. Uh, this is okay. Ducks but, have pretty skinny necks, so if you can get your armor yeah, that's around what I'm thinking, it right and I, choke it out, and ducks aren't known exactly for fighting. You're horses not right. can kick pretty good, dude. Yeah, you are never a horse. That you're never gonna choke out a thousand pound duck. You can't dude, get your no, arms think, around. Think, no, think about how you kill a duck, though, after you shoot it out it's of the sky when you're hunting. You just walk up and you twist that thing okay, around and snap up its a, neck. A pick thousand up pound what, what, duck? I'm, what I'm getting at is the horse-sized duck has a very fragile neck. So you just get around that puppy yeah. and you anaconda squeeze it. That how the hell might, are you going to get it? Yeah. It might be it. But that then might it wings. It's got a 50-yard wings. We're going for a ride, dude. We're going for a ride. How are you getting back? Though those wings are gonna knock your ass off so fast. Oh, wait a second. All hey, he, hey, hey. All he's he saying is the though. integrity of a duck's neck is not very good. I agree Just because that, it weighs that more. the average duck's neck will be ringed in one twirl. Easy. <laughs> Think about now a duck that is 30, what is it, 300 times the size. 300 times the size. Wait, what? If you have a three pound duck and, oh, okay. you, and yeah, now it's right. a thousand right. pounds, right. it's like a 300 times the size. But here's the thing a horse, I, I, in my head, I'm thinking like a horse sized duck. That's massive. Like, that's as big as this room, but it's not. It's not that. It's A horse sized duck is not that big. It's taller than you. But you can, yeah, but it's I, not that big. But it's still taller than you, and it's got a big ass, thick body. Yeah, that's true. I'm still with the whole. I would, I would take on the. Hundred duck sized. How strong this? That would no, be that, fun, but it would take longer. It would take a long yeah. time to kill. We're not talking. Yeah. Yeah. If, what, if we have a time to, limit now, you maybe you're exhausted by then, and you lay down. That's true. They're, they're <laughs> kicking you in the back, and you're like, "Oh, the dimples! Oh, oh my god!" It, would, it Man, wouldn't it, tickle. It wouldn't tickle, dude. It's the a horses. Horse. It, they have a little. It's three three back. Back. It doesn't matter. Horses. Horses are known to kill people. Yeah, you know when they're though? a thousand pounds. You know what though? I think. <laughs> but if, if you're if a hundred of them <laughs> kick you at the same time, they're not I, that I think coordinated. Your, your worst case scenario with the horse-sized duck is you die. What's the worst case scenario 
Like, dude, the duck they, sized they, horse. They will they're overwhelm you. you. Yeah, yeah, but they're not going to overwhelm kill you. You. You, have, you have 20 and they're just kicking your you, face. You will not be killed just by a duck sized horse. Catch. They can't get, they're going to be to your knees. Or at least your, maybe at most to your waist. Okay. They're not going to get that okay. high. Unless, me, they, unless they really collect themselves and make a super horse that is <laughs> duck sized. Those are Power Rangers, me, not, not horses. <laughs> let me paint a picture for you, though. You're walking through your kitchen at night. And you walk past your kitchen stool and you hit your shin mm. on one of the metal stools. Mm. Is there any wor- worse pay- pain, if I could speak, is there any worse pain than getting your shin? No. Yes, nice little yes getting bit by a horse sized duck. Yeah. Or stepping on a Lego. No. Yeah, did you just say that? I've been bit by a duck and it's not that bad. They no, don't have that horse size. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally It was a literally three duck. pounds. <laughs> Yeah, but even if it <laughs> bites me, Hold like on. I can get in its throat, Here's I can what? stick my my whole fist down its throat. Do ducks have teeth? <laughs> Look that up, Jamie. They do. They do. They've got like little yeah, microscopic teeth. By the way. I know, but he's my Jamie, Jamie today. Because if a if they a do, duck right? has teeth, but they have like I'm pretty sure ducks have teeth, but not like teeth like humans they or don't animals. Have actual teeth. They're different. Mm. They like, but they have like rigid lines yeah. in their rows head. of thin bristles. In their mouth. Bristles help them scoop and filter nutrients. Yeah, a bristle that's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not gonna it's hurt. It's like a brush. Yeah, that's not probably probably not gonna hurt. So one thing you haven't considered is that the duck's wings are like a hundred times bigger. That's you know, what I said. And that it could like span. accidentally just like smack you and kill you. So even though it doesn't right. have any intention, it and if it can a fly, a clumsy duck, you're done for. <laughs> it's a clumsy, a clumsy duck. horse sized but duck. <laughs> if it flies and it breathes fire, it's automatically a dragon, and then you're fighting a dragon. Uh, I don't think ducks no, are on fire. That's a fair point. And ducks' legs <laughs> like though, are point. super weak. <laughs> the little red, the little ducks' legs, they're weak. Like those yeah. break all the time. That's a but they point. have to be stronger to compensate for a three hundred pound or for a one thousand pound. Yeah, size. but that yeah, they'll but you still just break foot, just as two foot it. Okay, but two foot kick it in the knee. Now we're just trying a question kick? because if we're gonna blow up a duck to be a, a one thousand pound duck, and it, the physical nature of those legs isn't gonna hold it, then you've already won. Yeah. Well, it will, so it will cons- hold it, but it'll no. it, in ratio it'll be the same. Okay, let's go ahead and take our votes then. I agree. Okay. okay. That's what I, that's what I'm wondering. Okay. okay, let's take the vote. Okay. I think it's two for two. I'll for start. Two. So the, I would take on the hundred duck-sized horses. Wow. I agree. I would take on the horse-sized duck, yeah. and I would go for the neck. Same. As Draw well. that. Play that scenario out for me. How you get to the neck? Let's okay. say you're dropped into a coliseum. Yeah. There's a thousand people in the right. in the crowd. And a thousand right. and then pound the, duck. Open open the gate and a giant ass duck. Right. A mallard, if you will. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Comes waddling out there. Right. And Wait. it sh- and it struts and stuff. How are you gonna approach that that duck? Well, you know that I'm good on my feet. Well. You have. I was. I used I've, to be. He was a linebacker. <laughs> I was. You were a linebacker. I was a linebacker, and I was responsible for the a, a gap in high school. That was my responsibility. That was a while ago. So I would look at the <laughs> horse's legs, zero in on the a gap. I would use my quick feet, which again I'm known have for. Have diminished. <laughs> <laughs> I would slide under that duck, get behind it, pounce up on its back, and then just wrap right around its oh. neck. I wish you and guys I would, could I see just, the way I would that just he's hold gonna on, wrap it. I would hold on for dear life, just like a nice yeah. bear hug. Hold, how is the duck gonna defend that? It can't. It has Can wings. You pull up it can't. A hit picture you of a horse-sized like duck. I want to know how large this duck actually is. Yeah, it's a bit shorter than me, and you could get to its neck. No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe have a, a thousand... picture of it next to a pencil. Well, it has both. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that mallard. Yeah. Oh, you're destroyed. You're you're dead. Easy. The, the, Not the, if I get my the horses would just be easier. So much easier. Look no, at those. There's a hundred of them. Look at that. <laughs> wow, that is... Look at that oh, man yeah. cowering that in fear against that duck. <laughs> yeah. So we're seeing a picture of a man who is terrified looking up at this large, looks to be a mallard. Or a swan. Yeah, mallards aren't white. That's not um, going to kill you. That shows you how much I know about my ducks. But those, look at those. The duck itself is tramping the horses. Easy. So you could wrap your arms around that neck. How are you going to yes. get around it? Yes. Are you going to just yeah. fucking jump I, on I, it? I told you. You're hug it right away? You go, you go from behind. If Those it's a thousand are... pounds, it's going to be too strong. You're not going to be able to break its neck. No, even if it comes at you like it's trying to bite you, you can grab it and get it in a chokehold. Don't put me in a chokehold on camera or on the <laughs> microphone. Wait, Lo- Logan's right. It's time to come to the decision. Right. Logan and I have come to our decision. Yeah, so Caden? Caden, it's time. 100 duck-sized horses. You really have to. Even, th- you really have to think about it before yeah. you say it. To we make got the sure strongest of those hundred horses. The strongest <laughs> horses on the planet. Turn them into a duck size, and I will murder them. Wow. All right, horsely. I'm gonna go with 
the duck the size of a horse. Thank of course. you. Thank right. you. Jesus. It's, so, it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. Thank you. Sure. Yep. Warm, I, I warm, warm, warm versus sure. A1 and mustard versus relish. So in the upper left-hand corner, we got barbecue versus horseradish. Go. Barbecue, barbecue versus, easy. Barbecue horseradish versus, is disgusting. No. Oh, dude. Horse, oh horse, my horse, god. Horse horse make a compelling no. case. Are we are we talking about barbecue sauce? Are we talking about like the benefit of the world? Which No, this is this is this is totally sauce subjective. Is so versatile. Okay. You can use it on so you many You can use barbecue things. sauce for more things, but nothing enhances the food like horseradish. Horseradish does for certain yeah. foods. Horseradish for certain, yeah. is disgusting. No, horseradish. It, it can be but the, the best thing. the foods for horseradish are much worse off without it. Yeah, it's true. It, yeah, the it's foods true. are much more dependent on the horseradish. You, you guys go ahead, but you guys will not convince are me. Are you about ribs? Horseradish. Ribs with, without barbecue sauce? Or you can ribs eat, with... Can you, you can eat all, Listen, you can eat almost anything with barbecue sauce. You can... There's very few things that you can oh, actually shit. eat. The mm, truth is, yeah. yeah, can you live horseradish. which 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 condiment will you be able to live with more than the other? Yeah. And I and think the truth obvious. is barbecue yeah. sauce, but I would always I would all but horseradish will destroy a meal if it's not there. Like name a, five things you would eat with. I don't know, I can't think of that. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, it's done. It's done. Yeah. Arby's. Arby's, he Arby's says. man. A nice horse, roast beef horse sandwich rat, with the horsey sauce. The horsey sauce. Everybody here knows I'm the biggest Arby's fan. And I never have had a course. Do they have a barbecue that. sauce option? No. Oh, what is mm. it? You ever have barbecue what sauce at Arby's? You're a big, you're a big no. Arby's fan. I thought you went to Seems Arby's. like they would have no. barbecue sauce. I'm not a big barbecue oh. fan either. I just am but anti you see, horseradish. I can name five things with barbecue sauce right now. I agree. I, I agree. I think the barbecue Nuggets, sauce is the fries. I didn't ask. Cox, I didn't want the burger. Fun. I didn't want Steak, you to Was go. the third one Cox? Was the third one what? <laughs> what did you say? You Put said, sweet baby rays on a penis? Tots. Tots. I misheard. That's okay. Yeah. I don't think you what's that sta- what's the steak that you put horse that you can't eat without horseradish isn't there like a it's like a prime rib or something yeah a nice right? prime yeah. Her- an herb crusted beef tenderloin do you know that off the top of your head or did you google that <laughs> and, I, and I think that's what I'm here for James. and I think that's why we're gonna have to pull the trigger as much as I love I think some nice horseradish. You you gotta you gotta say barbecue sauce, but it's you're right. People we can be upset. We, we can we, right. 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 We, right. We, we, so we can put it to starting, a starting starting over here. I'm for barbecue. Barbecue. Bar- we have four yeah. hands out for barbecue sauce. But horseradish has my heart. Okay. okay. Not right. not big enough. It won. Right. Yeah. Okay. Fuck Moving it. I'll vote for horseradish. It still loses. Hey, horseradish. I didn't forget you. When it came time. When it came down to it, I didn't forget you. Horseradish. You got you got fans. I think this one's gonna be a little more decisive. We got mayo versus ketchup. Those are, oh, those those are, are equally these are used. Prime. That them together create mayo. fry sauce. Mayo. Uh, can can this yeah. can this one move on? The can can they move on to the next round as fry sauce? <laughs> no, no, no. Can no, they no. mix and move on as fry sauce? No, no, no. It's one or the other, baby. Okay. Uh, so ketchup <laughs> is the mo- one of the most used condiments in the world, but mayo. How can you eat a dry sandwich without some mayo? You got to. You, you got to have mayo. Dry anything, you need mayo. And on a nice turkey sub, you're not putting ketchup on that. Oh. Wait, yeah. hold on. Is it ketchup or ketchup? Oh, no. We're not starting. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I'm going to say that I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm fact checking you. Mayo is actually used more than ketchup in the U.S. I would agree wow. with that. Wow. I would agree with the facts. I, I'd go mayo because I love I, BLTs. I can't believe that, but... you can't, Mayo goes on everything. Mayo yeah. goes on and in everything. Ketchup okay. is merely an enhancement to a food. It's not a necessity to anything. What is ketchup a necessity to? Ooh. Nice. Yeah, that's true. Ketchup is a hot dog. food's bitch. Here's, here's, it's a bitch, and it's disposable. <laughs> completely here's, disposable. Here's my hot take of the day. Uh, ketchup's overrated. No, no, I'm with you. I, no, I, I never have it with my fries. No, oh. me either. Me either. I'll take a barbecue yes. burger over a ketchup yes. and mustard Don't burger. Don't say this to yes. any day of the week. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm with ketchup. you, Hayden. Hayden, with, I'm with, with you. There's nothing better than a fat stack of McDonald's fries and ketchup. No. Nothing See, better. I, I, nothing mean, better. I don't use ketchup I eat the either. McDonald's fries plain Jane. Mm. Same. You just put a little dab of extra salt, those little salt packets. That's all you need. You don't need the, the ketchup packet. I You're just, sick. I could live without ketchup. <laughs> I can't live without mayo. You can't okay, live without mayo, but I disagree with should we vote? that ketchup is ketchup is yeah. not overrated. Okay, we'll start over there yeah. with horse. Go ahead. Mayo. Mayo. Slide mayo. it, slide mayo. it down. Slide a hand. Okay. Right. Wow, second round. That was a tough ketchup going out in the first round. Who who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> who would have thought? 
Uh, we lost in the finals for sure. <laughs> yeah, people are disengaging. As we uh, okay, mustard versus relish. Mustard. mustard. Ooh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me, you're the one who wanted relish in here. I know, I know, because I felt like it was important, but I didn't know he was going to go up against mustard. <laughs> I think mustard might win. But it's the same It's the same problem. Which one is more disposable? Which one is... Relish, absolutely. And which relish. one is a necessity? I don't no. think I've had relish one time okay. in the last year. Uh, wow. Sounds like no one's going to pick relish, right? Relish is yeah. taboo. All right. yeah. Okay, so let's, do, another let's do a different type of mustard. We're gonna split up the mustard Ooh. types. How about that? Okay. So okay. French mustard versus, French yeah. mustard versus, versus nice Dijon versus yeah. the relish. Class. Versus like the classic. Okay. Oh, Dijon classic. versus. The so classic. this isn't just your average straight up yellow mustard. This is some is like Dijon, brown. Dijon mustard, baby. Or like a spicy mustard. A little more yeah. spicy, a little more brown. See, I don't like that. Oh. I would pick relish over wow. spicy mustard because that oh, is my relish. jam. Relish yeah. is out though. Relish is out. Now you have to pick. That oh no, here. we're doing the mustards. Then. We replaced the two mustards. We yeah. Oh, the two mustards. Okay. So mustard oh, wow. versus. So here, here's Dijon here's, mustard. So whenever I go to Jimmy John's, I go Dijon mustard. That's what I go with. Okay. I don't go with the regular. I don't even mustard. Think they have regular mustard. Do they not? You have to go get the little packs. You yeah. can't ask them for regular exactly. Mustard. And you know what? You know why they don't. You know why they don't keep it on hand? They know it's not that great. It's not special. <laughs> First off, Jimmy John's sucks. Oh, <laughs> oh that's a hot take. Oh, oh, I'm calling Jimmy oh, right now. He's on speed dial. I'm speechless. We'll get that out of the way. When's the last but time anyone used speed dial? Mustard is is way better. Mustard is prime. <laughs> mustard is the thing that everybody wants. I been around people. longer. I would. I would oh, personally. Mustard? mustard also has zero calories. Dijon mustard does have calories. Oh, five fact calories check per me. tablespoon. Yeah, that's a good fact Dang. check. I think that regular mustard also has the same amount of calories. I think, I think it has fewer. I think brown mustard has other shit in it that makes three it. calories for just normal mustard. Okay. And then let's add a Dijon in there. How much does Dijon? How many calories in Dijon? Nine. Oh, Ooh. triple in value. Thank you. That's for you, Mariah Lynch. And and yeah, <laughs> caloric value is important in our household. How much mustard I will, are you I will eating? relent that. How much mustard are you eating though? To where it's going to be a concern that you're eating? Just a good point. Uh, you would be so disturbed if you saw my sandwiches. <laughs> Jesus, that's six hundred calories in just mustard. <laughs> so it's just a mustard teaspoon. Like, yeah, that's something. That's like that's, a, that's like you get more of the the pre cum in the mustard bottle besides just the actual mustard with two teaspoons. Oh my gosh. The little river water. Yeah. In the beginning. Yeah. It's, and then it's the Makes mustard. Makes your bread soggy. Yeah. I this, gotta go this with bring mustard back. though. Yeah. I, and it's got more flavor too. I'm a Dijon guy too. It's got more flavor. This is this might come down to a tiebreaker. So. Alright. So horsely? I'm going regular mustard of course. Dijon. That's Dijon. a no brainer. Which do you eat more? You haven't had regular mustard in a year you said. Relish. I had oh, relish. Fuck relish. Okay. I'm gonna go regular mustard. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay. Tie- I just use it more. Tiebreaker. So my tiebreaker is Dijon, just because it uh, already oh. has everything yellow has, and then Less it has a little something. It's got a little more, right? It's got the zest. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Wow. I, I don't think there's a point, a place where the yellow. Wow. Ketchup and used, mustard the both went out in the first yeah. round. <laughs> Ketchup and mustard, first round losers. I can't go, I can't feel they lost on a wild card weekend. Man, that's like the Ravens <laughs> and the Patriots both. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah, first seeds. That hurts. Yeah. All the promise in the world. Ketchup and mustard out the door. All right. to, they lost to Dijon and barbecue sauce. Hey, no. yo, who wants to bet yeah. $20? Mayo. Mayo and barbecue. About them. I'd put $20 down that ketchup smells. There's more ketchup sold in the U.S. than mustard. Who wants to match that? How much? Twenty dollars. There's more ketchup sold in the U.S. than most. Well, I agree with you. That's so yeah. not ketchup. Well, I already kind of saw how much each. Was okay. Well, don't show anyone else. <laughs> you want to take me on that? Logan likes the action. Come on. Yeah, dude. I'll take you on it. Take it for the content. Yeah, you you can cash? shake my fist. Yeah, I'm doing. Put must- it down. Yeah. So I got mustard. I don't I got, have. Caden just barely put out his fist for a fist bump and. <laughs> And Logan grabbed and it and caught shook it. <laughs> <laughs> like a stick shit. <laughs> yeah. Guys, vroom, vroom. we weren't on camera. All right. You can hear Caden's money. Where's yours? Uh, hey, yeah, how's it going, it. Andrew? It's a nice Venmo. But I don't have Venmo either. Because but I'm Andrew good for it. Jackson. You are good for it. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> it's okay. I found it. It's okay. His money. wife has money. Show me the Morty. Whoa, we got All right. two crisps, twenty dollar bills on this. On the table. All right, read me the stats, Captain. All right, coming up. Captain Jack. This is going to be the easiest money Caden's ever won. That's a fact. I've never lost a bet with Caden. Well, it's you're true. about to win everything. I know. 
I lost to Damon on the McGregor fight too. I put twenty dollars down on Cowboy, and he. I said <laughs> Cowboy knocks uh, McGregor out in the second round, and then Cowboy was out yeah, in 40, forty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ketchup amounts to twenty. What? Make sure your source is reliable, Jamie. It is. It's the Statista uh, okay. market forecast. Trust the market. This is a riveting content right now. Yeah. My heart is throbbing. <laughs> so is my wallet. Okay. So it looks like the most revenue is generated. In the United States, there's eight million eight eight billion for oh, wow. ketchup. Eight billion dollars a year? For ketchup? In ketchup transactions? Or eight billion units sold. That's gonna be tough to beat. Are we gonna like, go off of units sold or total oh, dollar yeah, amount? We, I don't know. Ooh. Are they, what, what was are they the different? Are they now? significantly different? Show it. Just go with each. Let's say if if one and one, then it's, it's then it pushes, and we'll make another bet today. I don't know what you mean one to one. Like if if, 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 there, if, if there's more if there's more units of mustard sold, but the dollar amount for ketchup is higher. Mm. You know, then it pushes. It pushes. Okay. Okay. So I still got ketchup. I got mustard. All right. We got to hear both of them then. Man, this okay. is tough. So People are like sold. splitting it up by like hot dog. Let's let's like talk about the next round as you're researching. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so the next one is, name it, war... No, we got to keep going to the bracket. That's yeah, yeah. it is the next one. We're on the next one, the steak sauce. Yeah. So we got A1. Oh, war, war, is this why you pointed war, out? Just, I can't say it either. Can't it's war, it. Worcestershire. 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 Worcestershire sauce. I can't. Versus A1. Versus A1. 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 Worcestershire is well, A1 like easy. watery grease. It's not even that I think, I think we can close this one out. Yeah. A1. I'm voting A1. Do you have anything to say? A1. A1. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. So we're back on the... And this one's going to be, I think, the toughest. We got to go with the most, the most versatile. Because it's barbecue, barbecue versus mayo. Are we on the next round? Yeah. yeah on the next Second round. Second Barbecue versus mayo? This Jesus. is a semi-final on this side of the bracket. Well, uh, what, let's, let's build some suspense. We'll go on the, the right-hand side, which is now Dijon mustard versus... A1. A1. Okay, okay. Well, this is an easy one. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Yeah. All right, no. Oh. I would go with an A1. A, but you don't use A... You use A1 for fewer... Yeah. Fewer... For not no, as much I food. I never used Dijon. Ever. I used it probably he three, voted year, for three or four mustard. times in my life. See, I use Dijon every I day. I use mustard way more. Hmm. But uh, A1, I would... It's hard for me to not have A1 with me. You have an on. <laughs> <laughs> On my person. You have it on your person. <laughs> you, got, you keep that thing on you? I keep that thing on me. <laughs> uh, okay. I think I mean, mustard is more valuable, I'm though. going Dijon. I think Dijon is more valuable than A1. I'm going Dijon as well. Yeah, I think you lost. I, I think A1 okay. lost. Dijon's okay. moving to the final. Ooh. Horsey might be the only one against Dijon in the final. That hurts. <laughs> Dijon in the final. Well, you can consider the... Dijon as... It's very. It's the closest cousin to mustard that there is on the planet. It's not good, though. Oh, it's so good. There's not much I'm of gonna, a difference I'm in taste, take, even. I'm going to take you to Jimmy John's after this. We'll get you a nice oh, number gosh. 12 with Dijon on it, baby. <laughs> like, please kill I me. Jimmy John's. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scam of America. I love Jimmy. All right. He's a good guy. So, Dijon's going to face either barbecue sauce or mayo. I think I got to take mayo. I got to take mayo. I do, too. I, I can't, do. You can't live without mayo. Yeah, you can live without barbecue sauce. You guys are so white. <laughs> <laughs> You took this to a racial place. What, what if a black person said mayo? Would you say that to them? <laughs> you guys are so white. Here's the, here's the problem. It's, I guess it comes down to the kinds of food that you're eating. And I every day I eat a can of tuna with mayo. I'm, here, I'm going mayo oh too. May, that, that's that's kind of gross. Uh, what the hell's wrong with that guy? Do you, do you talk to anyone after that? Is your breath just so I don't see anyone for can't. eight hours. It's like the SpongeBob episode. <laughs> hey, how are you? <laughs> do you eat it with anything? Do you have like a cracker that you put uh, it on? Saltines. It? Yeah. Saltine. Saltine and tuna and mayo. Well, I do it for my stomach. I don't do it because I'm a psychopath. <laughs> well, I'm kind single, of a psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> Although right. at the same time, most, most nights I eat Chicken and rice with some barbecue sauce. But you can't good consciously. You still do that. Choose every night. Oh, I eat the yeah. same goddamn I meal you eating every that single when we day. Live together. Really quick, really quick. Your three meals of the day because this is just we can't fascinating keep this on. to me. Can you hear the fan on Tanner when with the air? Yeah, only when you guys stop talking. Okay. Oh, well, it was no, on earlier. No, it's but... like a white noise generator right now. Yeah, go turn it off. What were you saying? <laughs> Damn it! You're... That just ruined the whole continuity. Nah, that's good. <laughs> you, you can cut it. Nah, but with with. Uh, your three meals, because 
so far what I'm hearing is for lunch you have tuna mayo and saltines and at night you have chicken rice and barbecue sauce. Those two condiments are the most valuable condiments <laughs> in my life. Oh, hands down. So how are we going to choose? I'm going. I, I'm going. Mayo. I'm very torn. When I thought mayo. mayo was going to be the easier choice, but I think, but barbecue sauce holds an equal place in my heart. I just, I don't love barbecue sauce. I don't feel very strongly about that, but I love BLTs. I think, I, I think mayo is more vital. You can't go. Are we going to vote? Yeah, we got to right now. Well, okay. You got to think about your. Are you eating? <laughs> Like BLTs with mayo, or are you eating more often than you're eating chicken or, no. or ribs? What are you eating more? I'm eating BLTs more often. I think I am. He's too. all about the BLTs. I eat BLTs all the time, especially in the summer when there's What tomatoes. else uses mayo? Uh, fry sauce. Yeah. BLT is the only thing that uses mayo? No, I it just said fry tons sauce. Of sandwiches. <laughs> A sandwich is nothing without some mayo. Okay, yeah. we know what, we know what okay, it's so mayo. It's going to be mayo. Yeah. Mayo versus Dijon mustard. Wait, so why, why mayo? <laughs> What was the overall consensus? It, it's just use with more things. It's more... It's the most versatile condiment on yeah. the planet. Yeah. It is Trump. It's creamy. We're not a bunch of white guys, Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we got... Hey, so the final... I think it's still... It is mayo versus Dijon mustard. How the hell mayo. did Dijon make it this far? <laughs> That's what I want. I don't know. It's a yellow mustard. That's yeah. blasphemy, dude. I'm going to fight for Dijon. No, shut up. Here's, here's what I'm going to say. I like this. Here's what I'm gonna Make say. Make your case, but it's already decided. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I have a sandwich, I can go without mayo. In fact, I go without mayo a lot of the time because of those calories. Mm. Mm. Dijon. I think you're the only one in here that cares about. I those put calories. a couple of. I can put a couple tablespoons on on my sandwich of Dijon, and it only adds 15, really 20 calories. Bitch, I really. <laughs> in fact, today I had How many just. How calories are in mayo? How many calories a lot. do those a lot? Let's... There's a lot of fat and calories in mayo. Today for lunch, I had a turkey sandwich, and the Dijon flavor was so oh. overpowering that my eyes started watering. But I loved every <laughs> minute of it. <laughs> it packs more of a joy. punch. You don't need that much. Whereas mayo, you like. See, I, I like to on. feel the pain. Yeah. <laughs> Tanner, what do you got for mayo? But Nutrition what kind foods? of life are you living? Nine calories a tablespoon. <laughs> if, if you have to oh, measure shit. out your condiments. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Eight? Three. Three teaspoons in one tablespoon? Mm-hmm. So you're getting, for one tablespoon of mustard, you're getting nine. I guess we're doing Dijon, Dijon. so it's it's uh, 27 calories versus well 90. I do fucking math, dude. Right, hey, you're yeah. a wins, this, bro. Look at me. This should, this should be a math podcast, bro. The ma- <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Welcome to the math podcast. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I'm going mayo. I think I gotta go mayo. I'm right. I'm going Dijon. Uh, this is my Horsley. this is my hill to die He's on. Already bowed out. I'm, I'm, not, no, I'm not afraid. What would you say against? Know. Okay, what would you say against regular mustard and mayo? Mm-hmm. I, I, it's still I, it's, it's still, still mayo the upper for me. hand mayo. If you if you don't choose mayo, you know it's that's wrong. You know even. If if mayo is the winner and it sounds like it is, that is incredible that it's the best. It had to have been ketchup or mustard in my head. Right. I think I think the only reason mayo won was because we we took this to a place rather than which one we liked best, which one you couldn't go without. You can't live without mayo. Mayo Mayo is more essential, but there's other ones that we all like better. But I do like the point that you made where you can eat a you can eat a regular cold sub sandwich with just mustard and no mayo instead of vice versa. You can do just mayo, like most Jimmy John sandwiches are naturally made with just mayo, you know, and they're delicious. But but mustard adds a different element versus just mayo. Yeah. To put a cap on this, my Jimmy John's order number twelve: no mayo at Dijon. Oh. I'm not kidding you. And it is <laughs> you idiot. Primo. Is that the Club Lulu? It is the Avocado Club. Mm. It's unreal. Well, so okay, there you have it, mayo. What did you find for did the find ketchup mayo? and mustard? Did you find the ketchup and mustard bet results? Um, says, while ketchup is still the most often bought condiment, mustard is positioned to grow in popularity due to the fact that it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> so ketchup is the winner. Ketchup yeah. sells more than... Yeah. In units or dollar amounts? I think it's both. It's both. There's yeah. no There's no way ketchup doesn't win. 743 million dollars. Have you okay, gone to a wa- a- Walmart and seen the Damn condiment it. section, how many ketchups there are? But Much you're on the space but the mustard is on the rise, baby. This is, this is a turning of a tide. How about this? You beat me. Right. You've never beat me a, in a bet before. I'll put another. It's been a pleasure, sir. Wow. I'll put another twenty down on ketchup versus mayo. No. And I got and I've got ketchup. No way, man. I'm, that I'm literally just says it's the most common. 
<laughs> You're addicted oh, to the pie. Just... <laughs> He's like, I need another hit. God. I need another hit Someone right please. now. Okay, I'll take mayo. Somebody. <laughs> All right, Tanner, hit us with it. What's okay. The What's the next right. segment? So the next segment is um, a draft of chairs, types of chairs. <laughs> you got a sofa. You got a park bench. You got an upholstered bench, an armchair, uh, a deck chair. <laughs> Folding chair. <laughs> deck chair. Dude, deck chairs. <laughs> oh. different. And so we get to come up with deck which chair. We, we gotta make our racket, dude. Oh, okay. a throne. Yes. We're throwing that in there. A wheelchair. Oh, that's a good one. Oh. Um, a all sorts of chairs. <laughs> There's all sorts of chairs. All right. The list goes on and on. So who's gonna who's gonna pick first? I think Tanner should flip a coin or something. Do you have a coin on you? So why don't you explain <laughs> how this is gonna work? So I think everyone's gonna pick their favorite type of chair. Or mm-hmm. who thinks, whatever chair you think you can make the best argument for, I think you should pick that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, so we'll, and we'll do a snake draft starting with Horsley. But then at the same, are Kaden, we going to do. Hayden, Hayden, me, and then I pick again, then Hayden, Caden, Horsley, until we all have five because we'll build our basketball team. Mm-hmm. Are we going to do, though? Sorry to keep interrupting. Are we you going trade. off of. Off of we can trade <laughs> after we've made our brackets? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I kind of like that. We can trade. Are we going to. Are we picking based off versatility or comfort? Whatever you or, can make the best pro, argument for. It's just, it's just it's totally subjective for you. Okay. Just You're just like, what, what are my five chairs? And once a chair has been taken by someone, it's off. The best chairs. We're just taking yeah. the best yeah. goddamn yeah. chairs. So, or you can build, like if someone takes your favorite chair, you can build a team that's like kind of compensates f- with three chairs being, you know, good together, you know, like yeah. a good synergy. Okay. All right. Synergy All right. So Hor- is Horsley going to get the I'll first start. Pick? I would love to start. I'm going to pick the LeBron James of chairs and go with the lazy boy. Oh, lazy boy. damn. Oh, that, was, that was on my list. Does, does, be, hold on. Does, I had that. does lazy boy include all reclining chairs? Yeah. I think yeah. so. Fuck. A recliner. That was my chair. It's the only chair I had in my mind. I haven't made my bracket. That's the go to chairs. All right. Caden. Nah, that was a good pick. I had that no, on mine. The first pick. The second pick. Make sure you keep a list in of what you In the 2020 pick. chair draft, Kaden Kelly selects. The tension is He's, just building. You could cut it with a butter knife. <laughs> I'm gonna say something. <laughs> you, I don't. I have not even looked at one chair online. Okay, dude. I'll go. I'll okay. go. You can really? have a second. Uh, my my chair. My first pick is massage chair. Oh, oh all right. Utility. Ooh. You sit in that baby. It rubs your muscles until they just are like smooth. Like butter. That's Logan. a good chair. I didn't even think about that. Um, my first pick is gonna be a stadium seat. <laughs> wow! Because you're watching a game. You're at a yeah, game. Dude, yeah, dude. Great oh, point. Yeah. Stadium, stadium seat. Great stadium experience. Seat. Yeah, it's all Night, about the experience. One with the pad, pro- perhaps. Yeah, you're in a yeah. first class seat, like Ooh. a courtside seat Ooh, or a courtside level seat. football oh. stadium seat. But you're just at, any you're, stadium seat. You're at a sports game. Tanner, you should write down our, our picks. I'm getting them down. Okay. Okay. What was yours, Caden? My my pick is Go ahead. the new and improved movie theater chairs. Mm. Oh, I had that on mine. What are those called? Those are recliners. Yeah, it's a movie no, no, theater. No, no, chair. But yeah. you can movie theaters are all chairs. Lazy movie movie chair is better. There is different because you're watching a movie and it has a cup holder. Yeah, a cup mm. holder is key. And mm. it, you can lift the shit up so uh, you can you can it, sit closer to the person next to you. Yeah, whether okay. you know them or not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So movie all right, theater so, chair. So, so then, am I, I'm pick, so yeah, we both we'll picked yeah. once. So yeah. now I'm going again. Oh, he isn't. Yeah, he. Oh, snake. 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 Wait, who went last? Did you go last? Okay, Let's so my three. now my now five. Each okay, person. we'll do three. That's three each. Yeah. Oh damn! I gotta rethink this. <laughs> oh, uh, suck it, man. All right. So my second choice will be a first class airplane seat. Wow, oh God, that's a great chair. <laughs> <laughs> so so far you got stadium seat and first class airplane chair. Yep. It's all about the experience for me. What are you doing while you're sitting there? Okay. Uh, my next pick is one a chair that you truly cannot go without. A nice porcelain toilet. Mm. Right. You can't go without it. The relief. Yeah. With the waft or the pain. Yes. <laughs> the pain in case. <laughs> and the suffering. I think we can all agree though that we leave the toilet feeling feeling a little bit better than when we found it. Sometimes. <laughs> I never leave it better than I found it. Are you serious? It never wishes it saw me. All right, Katie. I have to go two. with an old time classic that. 
you everybody always underestimates until you sit in it, and it is <laughs> the classic rocking chair. The classic oh, rocking chair. That was the worst chair. pick. Like ever. a porch rocking wow. chair. Like For your old, second uh, pick, a rocking, rocking chair. chair. It's like wood and uncomfortable. No, it's okay. not. It doesn't have to be wood. Is it, it be creak? Your, like the ones in creep. in the churches in the, <laughs> in the woman's fraternity room or whatever where they like breastfeed I've, him. I've never been in there. He just like he just a chair that you can rock in. The okay. rocking chair. The, okay. Your best rocking chair. I didn't like that pick. You don't have to like my pick. Yeah. yeah. All right. I've got a big pick right here that none of you thought of. Okay. He's grinning. <laughs> this <laughs> this chair is the banana chair. Oh, <laughs> a throwback. A throwback. All right. Just imagine you're in, the eighth, second pick. you're in the eighth grade in your basement, just oh, rocking God. on yeah. a banana chair with your controller in your hand playing video games. Yeah, and sometimes they would have a stereo. Yeah, like yeah. built into the yeah. right next to your ears. And you can lean back all the way. You can do the, it's the fun. The fun a, balancing thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Great That's my pick, of course. Great pick. You're mm-hmm. actually the next pick as well, because it's the snake draft. Okay. In that this case. This is your last pick. This is my last pick. And this is for all my disabled homies out there. I'm gonna go with. Oh my God. I'm gonna go with the wheelchair, of course. Name one disabled person. I really don't know. <laughs> That's why he feels comfortable making this pick. Wheelchair, very. If you, okay. like at parties at people's old houses, they'll have a wheelchair sitting around, and you can kind of just do that balancing. On. <laughs> they, can, they can get you anywhere later in life. You'll need them. Yeah. Get you, they, Those get you parties anywhere. with your disabled homies. <laughs> All of them. Why what? is she flipping him off? Oh, are you offended because you've sat in a wheelchair before? There's some tension. Caden, why don't you go ahead and make your pick? <clears throat> well, I felt very attacked after my last pick and nervous to make another pick. Okay, so, like, <laughs> look, what's, what's your what's your lineup so what are you, far? What are your two starters? He, he's got the movie theater chair. The new ones. The new okay, movie theater and, chairs. <laughs> and a rocking chair. <laughs> I'm going for the, nostal- the nostalgia. Yeah. It's, it's a long a time classic. Chair wasn't there's a rocking wasn't nostalgic enough. There's just, a reason that uh, it's still here, that it's still around, that they yeah. haven't got rid of the rocking chair. It's still here. Yeah, yeah but so is a bench. Yeah. It doesn't have to be the old... You guys are thinking of the wrong, like, fucking... That they made in the 1800s. If you sat in one of the newer rocking chairs that are that are stationary, but have they have the swings on them. I don't even know And they're there so modern, smooth. Modern oh, my God. Chairs. Okay, what's your third pick? My third, my third pick are those... Um, um, it's the camping chair that has the elastics on it that you that meshes around you as you fall into it. <laughs> yeah, so it's oh like it's a gosh. circle. It's a circle and it has mesh in the middle. No, they're right? a square, aren't they? I think they uh, can be either, but it has mesh it in has the like middle the that you sit in. So it's higher quality camping chairs. It's the best camping chair. And it, right. and it kind of springs you out. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't ever what, be uncomfortable. So what's the name of this chair? Mm, advanced camping chair. Advanced. <laughs> Mesh camp mesh ACC. Wow, <laughs> your your starting three of your chairs is, is fascinating. <laughs> Dude, you, came, you started off so strong. I you spent all your I, money on that. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't come prepared. I really went off. Of, I have no okay, idea. this at first is going to seem like a dumb pick, but hear me out. Just a good old fashioned folding chair. Oh my. Here's why. You're going to get mad at me for no. saying rocket okay. chair? <laughs> it's better than folding chair. Does it say rocket chair? I think I said you rocket chair on accident. <laughs> is there a chair? Is there a chair with more utility than a folding chair? You fold it up, you put it away, a it's easy chair. to store. You have you have some extra guests. What are you going to do? Bring out the folding chairs. Every family has at least 5 of them sitting in their garage patiently waiting to be used. Mm-hmm. I would dare say there are chair no chairs that are used more. Than a nice folding chair. You don't have to put wow. a pad on that baby. That's. I want to see the statistics to what you're. Have you, I'm see no, I don't think this. many people have nice folding chairs. They're, right. They're mostly beaten up. Yeah. Have you ever right. put away folding chairs? That's at the beauty State of conference? them, though. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you you go to the store and you can buy a, a nice folding chair that's going to last you ten years for ten bucks. Because yeah. you never use it. <laughs> you use it when you need it. It's there. It's just it, your you best only, friend. You know what, though? It doesn't need I, any love from you. It only gives. Hayden, I've got something. That's true. The only time you use a folding chair is when you don't have any other kind of chair. Oh, <laughs> oh. when all the other chairs are gone. All the, right. You don't have enough of all of the good chairs, so then you have to use the folding <laughs> chairs. Fair point. <clears throat> right. Absolutely. So I'll just, just, It does not negate you're my You're just pick. saying the utility. I understand that. All right. Okay. This is tough. I've got two because I thought we were going to do five. Well, you can only choose one. I'm going to go 
This is some nostalgic value. I'm going to go with the beanbag Ooh. chair. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. So if I fell in love on a beanbag. <laughs> I see. I've never oh. thought they were super comfortable. That's that's bean. I was yeah. either gonna do. I was. I, I chose. I chose bean bag. Bean bag. I chose bean bag because remember we had one at Baby Blue. And that was. Yeah, when, was, well, was when me and Ad started dating, and that was where we would we would sit. Because oh, everybody else, everyone else, everyone else, everyone else sat on the like couch. So that are you promoting <laughs> something? What are you doing here? I'm promoting love. So wait, can I, can I just clarify one thing? Is it a bean bag that has like a felt top or is it leather because when it's no, a not leather, leather one it bean bag it like sticks yeah, to your no, legs no, and like no, no, your leg. I'm right. thinking like a like a big love sack. Okay. But it always hurts talking. your neck. Hey dude, it's like, it's his pick. It's my his pick. pick. My, my, and and have, what about honorable mentions? Does anyone have like I was gonna pick a park bench because you're doing barbecues with your friends. Oh, hey, that's fun. But that it just didn't. How are you guys gonna shit on a rocking chair if you're gonna pick a park? It was an honorable mention. It wasn't in his top three. I didn't pick it. I was smart. I didn't pick it. Honorable mention, a throne. Yeah, I can't believe that throne didn't get picked. Yeah. Honorable mention, I would say a doctor's chair. <laughs> what? A doctor's chair. The ones that roll really around, like the little swivel? circle ones? Yeah. yeah. They roll around. I'm with stool, you. But you have no yeah. back support. Yeah. I was, it's, 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 for it's for fun. It's for fun. I was going to choose a booth, too, because you always go to the restaurant and you want the booth. Yeah, a nice yeah. booth. Nice booth. booth chair. That's uh, great. I have hammock chair, those ones that dangle. And you Those sit in them, and they envelop you. you. Curl up with a nice book. Yeah. All right. What was the last time you read a book, Aiden? Uh, next question. Lo- the last time you sat in the hammock chair, probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got any honorable? No, I didn't even have a bracket. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even have a lineup. I liked that. That was fun. So we gotta post this somewhere you, and have people vote on it to see who has the best list. Do you mind? Ooh, that'd be good. Do you mind reading off the, the teams? Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should vote, and then uh, you can't vote for your own. Here's the recap. Well, I'll I'll read off the teams. Maybe you want to do some trades. I don't know, but um, <laughs> definitely not trading with Caden. You know, How about everyone has to vote? To everyone has to vote for someone else's team. Okay. And see if there's two votes on someone or something like that. Okay. All right. So Horsley came in strong. Classic LeBron. Of chairs, the lazy boy. Absolutely. Um, that, was, went, that was a good pick. Yeah, and then he went with the uh, the kickback, the banana chair. Yeah. Wow, great. And then for all really. his disabled homies, <laughs> that's <laughs> parties at old folks' homes. Where it really t- wheelchair. <laughs> that one, he was doing pretty well. Yeah, that one was that, a little that's, controversial. That's a, that's a good squad. A little controversial. Yeah. Okay, uh, Caden, <laughs> man. I, 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 I really like me. <laughs> I, I really liked your first. I really liked your first pick. I love all of my picks. I'm <laughs> sad I didn't. So his first pick was the uh, movie chair, the movie theater chair, the the new ones. You know, I'll go over the features again a little bit. Well, first of all, you sit down and you melt into the chair before your cinema begins with a popcorn and Just a drink. Describe it. Okay. That's enough. Now he's got a rocking chair. He's got an advanced Nesh camping chair. <laughs> Let me ask you, though, when was the last time you sat in a rocking chair and thought, this is not a pleasant experience? Every time. Every time? It makes me a little sick. When was the last time? Oh my god. When was the last time you sat in a rocking chair and thought, this is a good experience? Good experience. I need a rocking yeah. chair. I, I like need it. a rocking chair. Do you have a rocking chair? No, no, I, need a rocking I need chair. That's what I'm saying. I need one. When was the last time you had one? I've never had a rocking chair. My grandma okay. has a rocking chair. Every time I go to her house, I sit in the rocking chair and I rock myself. Why did you not? Well, you should have explained that. That's nostalgic. I would have, If you had said that it's because your grandma you had one. you shitting on me and I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but everyone, if you said it was because your grandma, I would have been right there with I would have been like, oh, okay, I can't make fun of him for that. Everyone wishes other chairs were rocking chairs. Like, look at King right now. He's like, on yeah, he's like I wish I could rock. I wish I could rock. Yeah, Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Nice I'm I'm not I'm not going for a pity. I don't want you to approve of my list because of pity. I want you to say rocking chairs are valuable chairs. Rocking yeah. chairs are I'm with you. It's a valuable chair. The the camping those uh, mesh camping seats, you, those are definitely the king camping chairs. If you're ever going out, I you're not you're, Yeah. Yeah, they're the best camping chair, okay? <laughs> I love this, them. Not I'm not going for the I, I, you guys took a lot of my other ideas. I didn't have come with the strong. Li- I didn't come with the strong list in the first place. My chairs are purely practical. Beautiful. Rocking okay. chair, right. okay. camping okay. chair, movie thought. theater right. chair. And then we got um, Hayden and Logan. Who I'm just gonna say, I think they have a, a good, well balanced teams. I got they, they got good, well balanced. Thank teams. you. God bless. Um, so <laughs> Hayden 
We have you do pay the massage the chair, the toilet. That's come on utility. A toilet. That's utility. Well, I mean, you, uh, I've sat on small shitty toilets though. I'm thinking of they the toilet I have at now. home. <laughs> A, Does my toilet have a squatty potty? <laughs> they make your legs go numb. Rocking chairs usually make that. my legs go numb too. Wow. Okay, so wait. the massage chair, the toilet, and the folding chair. And he made a pretty good case for the folding chair. Wow. Very practical. Logan's all about the experience. He's all about nostalgia. He's he got the uh, that first class passenger seat though. Go ahead. Well, yeah, he he came through with a different approach. We got the stadium chair, first class airplane seat. Did you no. just, did you describe where the stadium chair is? Just, I think it's just any game he's watching. Yeah, fuck game. that chair. Yeah. Fuck the stadium chairs. Oh, That's all I gotta say. A okay. lot of tension over these teams. And uh, a beanbag chair. It's really aggressive. A beanbag <laughs> chair. A little more on the weaker side of that. Game, What's your team? Fuck your team. <laughs> Firstly, if you had to vote for someone else's team, who would it be? I'm gonna be honest here. As unbelievable as this might sound, I'm gonna vote for Game. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck everybody! Well, Fuck you guys! The, the AM- <laughs> AMC in Layton theater seats are some of the best seats I've seen. Right. And the camping chair. Nothing's better than those camping chairs around the fire. Oh. I I don't like his third choice, but because those two are so strong. Hor- Horsley is only wow. voting for Caden because he thinks it's the weakest one, so then he's no, more likely to win. Kind of like in the office when they all vote for Oscar for the costume competition. Yeah, and he wins. Well, he let's wins. let's see. Let's well, see. I was okay. I was gonna vote for horses. Wow. I was being honest. I'm being, 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 being honest. honest. I think the ro- I think I think that the first class seat is very impressive. What was your first pick? <laughs> massage chair. The massage chair. But I I I, I don't want to sit in a massage chair just to sit in a massage chair. That's fair. And I think that your other two picks come in stronger than the rest of the bracket. So I got to go with horses. Okay, it's good doing All business right. with you. Uh, I I actually have to shake. I'm. It really hurts me to say this. I'm gonna go with Horsley's. The the recliner and the banana chair, uh, that's money in the bank. Mm. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Thank you so much. The wheelchair, it's whatever, but <laughs> the the recliner, so comfy, so nice. Banana chair took me right back to that's to sixth grade. What, have that's you sat in a in a banana chair after twenty one? <laughs> they're impossible to get in and they're impossible to get out. You have yeah. to roll sideways out of the chair. You, you can't voted for his it. team. I know. I, no, no, no. I, I, I because, okay, because you, of the, you had a banana chair in our apartment in college. No, 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 no. no, no I, I'm not. That's why I fucking still love the banana chair. But I'm just saying it's very difficult to get into and to get out of these days. That's true. So, so far, our horse's team has, has two votes. But Logan's got to. Logan's, Logan's going to vote for horse too. Yeah, no. Because he's not voting for Hayden. I he's am. definitely I not voting for me. Guys yeah. I'm actually going to vote for Hayden. We'll Thank make a you. case. Why? Huh? Why? I like this. Oh, I have to explain like this folding chair. You like this no, goddamn I, folding I, I, chair. I definitely didn't like the folding chair, but his other two picks were solid. What was your other pick beside the massage chair? Toilet. 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 Yeah, oh, yeah. massage Horse chair and toilet. You could. I could not. Right. I could not bring myself to vote for the wheelchair. So so far, or, or for the rocking chair. So far, horses so in the lead. If, if Tanner so has another one to say, hmm? do you have a vote? Oh myself. Yeah. What would you vote for? Um. I'm siding with with your vote, Hayden, for Horsley. Yeah, so. Horsley had the, the best banana team. chair. I, the banana, I, the I, banana I, chair. I knew that. nobody would think of it. I don't is, know. It was is, divine intervention. What a when sneaky I great pick! <laughs> it, was, it was super creative. <sighs> thank you. But I think I'd like to thank my mother and my father. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that I do, but I do think that the best overall chair is the first class. Passengers chair. Yeah, weird how no one voted for it, huh? Yeah, because your other two picks sucked, and you attacked me personally. Yeah. And now I'm bitter. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm bitter because I lost. I'm gonna go home. That was good. Okay, welcome home. <laughs> All right, what's the last one? Last game. Um, yeah, we can do another one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> I know. That's we're why at, I turned that. We're on. at 47 well, minutes. Open that. We're, 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 we're at 47 minutes. Let's call it. I, I think we. Freezing. Yeah, I think. I think we're good. 48 minutes? Uh, I'd love to, I'd, I'm happy to keep going. Oh, I don't care. It is hot. Oh. Want to wrap it up? Yeah, yeah I think we're going to wrap it up. This is a, this is a wrap. Woo. Episode one. All right.